All right, fans. So UFC 285 was just this past weekend. We discussed a lot about John Jones, so we're not going to get into that no more. We are going to talk about some of the rest of the fights on that card. And one of the fights I want to talk about was um, Cody Garbrandt and his return to Bantamweight and his long overdue return since he's been off. I believe his last fight was 16 months ago prior to this fight against Trevin Jones. You know, Cody Garbrandt looked good. You know, he looked really, really good. You know, I... um. His feet, his um, feet were still fast. His hands were still fast. Of course, there was that third round where he did look a little, um, I guess, uh, maybe the rust was a little bit there, you know, where he was just, look, he looked a little tired. He looked a little like, you know what? You could tell he's been away from the octagon for a very long time. But after recent interviews, he had mentioned, and even at the post-fight press conference, he had mentioned that um, he had been injured. He had injured dur himself during the the uh, the morning of the fight, I believe. Like, I believe it was something with his neck or something to that nature, or something with his arm, whatever um, case may be. But still, nonetheless, he still looked really, really good. You know, I believe Cody Garbrandt needed a fight like this. He needed a fight where it was gonna gonna go the distance, and he did not needed um, to go at fight fire with fire either. You know, because that's something he's been really accustomed of doing, been prone to doing, where he's just nonstop when he gets hit, he just wants to constantly throw haymakers and throw some really good power shots and just leave himself defenseless. And he did that with T.J. Dillashaw twice. He did that with Pedro Munoz. You know, he did have a really good. Um, Fun matchup with Rob Font, but it did not go his way. And then, of course, he did that with Kai Carl France. So, but now, <clears throat> with his new coaching staff, with a whole new uh, training facility and whatnot, he actually has improved a lot in his skills. Not saying that it had nothing to do with his training facility whatsoever at all. It had nothing to do with that. It just had a lot to do with also possibly his personal life, too. You know, he talked about that as well. So, but it's good to see him back. It's good to see him back and um, get a little bit... Um, you know, another win underneath his belt. It's been a while for him. You know, his last win was against um, Rafael Asunza with a beautiful, beautiful knockout back in 2020. Um, so with that being said, you know, what is going to be next for Cody Garbrandt? I really hope they um, ease him in slowly. Let's not try to make him into some big superstar. Let's not try to ease him into like big old main events. You know, there's a, quite a few top 10, um, <clears throat> maybe even top 15 Ben weights out there that he can actually go toe to toe with. You know, there's that Chris Gutierrez, there's um, I, uh, Adrian Yanez, I believe there's name is, and then I know there's also um, Pedro Munoz, I believe is at top ten himself now. So he never know he could possibly get a rematch right there. You know, I would not mind seeing that either. You know, with the um, with the um, Cody Garbrandt and Pedro Munoz. On running it back one more time, you know, with uh, Pedro Munoz, there was it was actually a really good fight, and I feel, I feel like um, Cody Garbrandt was actually getting the better of him at the fight, but then he just so just got caught against Pedro. He got caught, and you know that ended up being it. Pedro Munoz ended up winning the fight. So, but I definitely won't mind seeing that back. I just hope they do ease in Cody a little bit um, slower, let him get his groove back a little bit, let him get into a few more um, good decent fights, and let his get just let him get his rhythm back. You know, because I definitely miss Cody Garbrandt, you know, when he's when he was coming up, when he had that beautiful fight against Dominic Cruz, he just looked unbeatable, he looked unstoppable, so you never know, we could possibly get that back, and you never know, we might even see a Cody Garbrandt, Dominic um, Cruz part two as well, because Dominic Cruz is still in there, he is ranked number seven, you never know what he's going to be doing, you know, he's, um, he's uh, had a, his last fight against was against uh, Marlon Vera, and unfortunately it was a KO loss, so you never know what his decision is going to do um, down the line as well. You know, Bantamweight stacked. Bantamweight is just stacked full of stars right now. It's just in the stars in that division. And I can't wait for um, what's going to happen next um, to see the future of the Bantamweight division. So, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about Cody Garbrandt and what do you think he should do next regarding um, his career. Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.